Hi everyone. In the previous video, we styled the header and the footer sections of the uh, forum that we're making. In this episode, we're going to actually style this uh, index page, or rather this forums page, and then we're also going to style the threads themselves. So first, let's go ahead and just style this page. And I'm going to give it a background. I want it to be distinguished from the rest of the content. Give it a background of white. And OK, we see that working. Next, we're going to put margin around it, because I do want that background to show up, the kind of bluish gray one that we made. Give that a margin of rim, one rim all around, so 16 pixels. And a little bit more than that. We'll do three. That would be 48 pixels. OK. Actually, I'm not going to style the main content one. I'm going to go ahead and style that wrapper instead. So let's give the wrapper a background of white. And then actually, we're going to give it a padding of two rims. So that's 32 pixels. That should be good enough. But now we need to give it a margin of uh, one pixel on the top and bottom. Uh, excuse me, a margin of two rim on the top and the bottom, not on the left and the right. And that overwrites the thing we have above. I forgot about that. Okay, so it needs to be two rim auto. That way it still centers itself in the middle. Okay, so now it's centered and looks like this. And we have padding. Let me get rid of the margin that's above this. I'm going to give this a page title. And it's going to have a margin of zero for now. And I forgot to. No, I didn't. H2 class page title. I forgot the dash. Okay, has a margin of zero. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And I want to make the thread titles H3 instead of H2. Okay, next I want the thread title and the date to actually be in line. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the header and the footer parts to this. Next, I'm going to give this a class of thread summary. Do the same for the other one. See what that does. Absolutely nothing. Okay, next what I want to do is give this uh, display a flex. It'll put these in the same row, as you can see here. Next, I want to align items center. And so now they should align in the center of the page. And finally, I want to justify the space in between the content. So we want to put space in between. This, and this is all done using the CSS Flex, which is super convenient. OK, and now we have this. Uh, but we want to get rid of this horizontal rule that we have in between these articles. But we still want these to be separate. Well, let's go ahead and put borders around these thread summaries. And by the way, the names of the classes really don't matter, just so long as they're meaningful. And like, keep them in context to what you're building, but otherwise, name them whatever you want. So I'm going to give this a DDD, so one pixel wide border. And then I want threads. Let's give a class to these, call them thread title. and then style those titles, get rid of the margin. And then give the dates, change the elements the dates are in to spans. Uh, spans are similar to divs, except where a div represents a block of content, a span represents content that is in line with the rest of the page. So it's like you would use a span inside of a paragraph instead of a div, if you wanted to specifically style certain text.
and make it bold. Okay, now it looks like that. I want to give it padding now. But this time we're just going to give it padding 10px all around. And I want the page title to actually have a margin on the bottom. We'll give it a 2 rim, so 32 pixels. Okay. And that's fine. That's fine for now. Normally, if you had something like subcategories, you could, um, well... Let me change this, actually. Put these back into a header element. If you wanted to, well, let me fix the style first. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to, you could put like uh, the subcategories below, maybe like a brief description. And really, as you can see in a V Bulletin, You normally show the forums. So this is the forum, and this is the subforum, and the forum is what actually has the threads inside of it. So each one of these is a thread. So you kind of get an idea of what contents you can have. Um, and ours is very, very simple compared to what they have here. I mean, they even have statistics, and we'll add all this later as we go along, but it won't be till the we get to programming it. But for now, we just have this simple form with these threads. So now that we've got that, I want to round those off a little bit. So let me do that real quick. Silly me, I didn't use the right rules. Okay, now you can see we've rounded the top, we've rounded the bottom. And if we wanted to add a third one in between here, uh, it would actually not be rounded. So you can do quite a bit with CSS. It's pretty cool. But for now, now that I've got this to where I want it, I want to briefly add some shadows to the main content to kind of help it stand out a little bit. And actually, it will be done to the wrapper. So we're going to use a CSS uh, declaration using the box shadow. Oh, let's see if I remember this. Uh, this one is the horizontal. I believe this one's vertical. And let's see. Yeah, okay. So we gave that some shadow, but that's a little too much. Let's give this a f five pixels. Maybe make that five also. Maybe make this two pixels. Okay, now it stands out a little bit more. So let's go to the threads and start styling these. And as you can see, the main content, because we're using the same class, is already styled, but we have to put the page title class on, on this one. Okay, and then we want to do something similar like before. We'll get rid of the horizontal rules. And then uh, give these classes of thread post. Because the thread is actually the collection of posts, and the initial post that starts a thread is still considered to be a post. So give uh, this class to all of these articles. And then we'll put a border around these. See what it looks like. So thread title just makes the margin zero. In that case, what we can do is just go ahead and put that on all of these. Because I don't want there. I'm going to, I'll fix the margin myself. Uh, actually, I'm not going to. I take that back. Okay, so let's go add padding. Only give it a padding of one room. Okay, next we're going to do the same thing with the debt, with the date for the threads that we did here. I'm going to put the date over to the left of it. 
and then style the uh, header. Give it a display of flex and then a uh, justify content of space between. And let's see what this. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. We're going to align the, the item center. And actually, I need to fix that. Instead of making this a page title, we're going to call it a thread title, which I think already exists. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> then we'll call this a thread post title. OK. Then we're going to do a little trick. Well, actually, I need to add some uh, utilities real quick. These are based off of Bootstrap. I, I just kind of really like Bootstrap 4's class naming. And for those of you who don't know, Bootstrap is a CSS framework. So rather than manually typing all the CSS like we're doing right now, you, we could be using a framework. But uh, I'm not going to use a framework in uh, this episode series. I'll do it in a different one. OK, so let's create a rule called ML or actually I'll just spell it out margin left auto and then another one called margin left 10 and for this one we'll give it a margin left with a value of auto and in this one we'll give it a margin left one rim and actually I'll change this to margin left one okay so first we want to put the class on this one margin left auto and then on this one we want to put margin left one and let's see how it goes so as you can see when you put auto and it's in a flex box or in a flex block um, what it does is it automatically adjusts the space of whatever you of whatever's left. So it's kind of like using the flex property, but you're only adjusting one side instead of all the sides. So let's do this for the rest of them. Okay. Okay, now it looks like that. Looks a little bit better. And finally, I want to no, I don't want to round these off. Actually, I do want to round them, uh, but I'm going to round all the corners instead of just the first and last thread. So, and then I guess I need to get rid of, uh, eh, I'm just going to get rid of the paragraph tags. And then style the main a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and change this a little bit. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make this H3 instead, and then I'm going to, um, and I did do it that way. Okay, I'm gonna change this a little bit. Instead of putting padding on the article, I'm gonna put the padding on the header and the main instead. By the way, you can combine um, CSS selectors, so I can do. Uh, thread post header and thread post main separated by a comma and then apply and now this rule will apply to both of these classes and you can have an infinite number from what I understand so now what I'm gonna do is color the thread post header by giving it a background of EEE -E -E. And that looks uh, quite a bit better, except now I want a border on the bottom. And I guess I don't need the margin on the main anymore. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got this kind of separated out in a more readable way. And let me shrink that header. I actually don't want the header to be one rim. And content can stay that, that way, though. We'll make this uh, half a rim, so that would be like eight pixels. And I changed my mind. I want the left and the right to be one rim. Okay. 
and I'll increase this to 1.5 rim for the main. Okay, and then finally, let's go ahead and add numbers to these so um, we know what order they're in. I know I gave them titles of post 1, 2, and 3, but typically you would distinguish them further. And now it looks like that. So it's a little bit better. We're seeing more content. I'd like to see a little bit more content on this. Um, let me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have. I'm going to take this thread description and put it here. And let's see what that looks like. And let's put some space between those. Okay. So now it looks a little bit better. We come here, we see that. Let's do the same thing for thread two. Okay, so now we've done both threads one and two and we've also done the uh, forums. Now you might notice something here where the wrapper is actually being um, pushed outwards which means that this wrapper and this wrapper don't match up. You can tell that the uh, main content is actually wider than it should be. The way we fix this, it's because of the padding. Uh, the way you fix this is by coming in here and specifying the property box sizing and it's generally considered a good idea to just go ahead and set it on all the elements and we're going to give it a box sizing of border box this asterisk says um, it's a wild card it says I want to match every single element class ID I want this to apply to everything and you can combine it with other stuff like I want everything under the HTML tag to have these rules but we're gonna go ahead and apply it to everything so let's see what it does and you see it pushes it back in line with everything else that's it for this episode um, in the next episode what we're gonna do is actually style the about pay oh well that's actually pretty much styled um, we might <laughs> we might style the about page probably well we might um, definitely going to style the contact page and we'll probably end up styling the profile page also at least a little bit so I hope you enjoyed the video as always please give me feedback and critique and uh, tell me how I can improve uh, also tell me what y'all what kind of videos y'all want to see in the future because after this one if I don't have any suggestions I'm gonna go ahead and try and make a CRM, which is a customer relationship management tool, but that's in the future. So again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.